Every year about this time, we hear about the top this or that for the past year, as in person of the year, best books, top celebs. So Link Asia decided to join the party by asking our contributors from Seoul to Islamabad to give us this year's top words in social media. We'll have the first three now. I'm Toshimaira in Tokyo. Japan has annual contest about trendy words, but this year my favorite is Ikuji. It means elderly men who are actively involved in raising their grandchildren. Even Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda said recently that he hopes to become an Ikuji when he retires. The new word is emblematic of Japan's aging population as well as the recent trend of Japanese men taking a more active role in raising kids. I'm Yoon Lee and the word of the year here in South Korea is menbung, which means a mental breakdown. It has been widely used by young South Koreans when encountering an unbelievable or unacceptable situation. A simple sentence, I had a menbung when the company suddenly canceled a job interview with me for no apparent reason. Menbung is popular because 2012 has been a rough year for young South Koreans who are struggling in a slack job market and so face ever greater competition. I'm Ajoy Bose in New Delhi. Here, the phrase of 2012 is Amadmi. It means common man, which is associated with the year-long anti-corruption movement across India, which claims to speak on behalf of the long-neglected Amadri. In fact, the movement has named a new party. Yes, you're right, Amadri. And now for part two of Link Asia's social media words and catchphrases for 2012 as chosen by our contributors. We'll start with China. here in Beijing. And in China, a way to know whether or not a word is popular with the people, but not necessarily the authorities, is whether or not the word is censored. So our word of the year is Taizadang, or princeling. It means someone of old prominent communist lineage. Usually their parents were high-ranking generals or politicians back in the days of Mao. Used in a sentence, both incoming President Xi Jinping and ousted leader Bo Xilai are princelings. But you'd never find this kind of a sentence on Weibo, much less mainstream media like on the People's Daily or a Xinhua News Agency. This word just reeks aristocracy and privilege. This is Waj Khan from Islamabad, Pakistan. Without a doubt, Pakistani social media featured Babandi as its word of choice for the year 2012. Babandi means ban in Urdu, and it was quite the year of forbiddance for millions of Pakistanis. Firstly, Twitter was banned when it refused to heed the Pakistani government's warnings about taking off blasphemous content, which was featured on its links. Then YouTube was banned as well, the smoking site. In fact, it continues to suffer from a blanket ban because its owner, Google, has refused to heed the Pakistani government's warnings about taking off a blasphemous uh, anti-Islam video which caused riots across the Muslim world, including Pakistan. For the first time in its history, cell phones were banned in the country as well, as were motorcycles. Government officials cited evidence saying cell phones and motorcycles are used by terrorists to detonate bombings all across the country. And in what was seen as a desperate security measure, at least one Pakistani district banned shawls and overcoats in the dead of winter, saying that terrorists have a tendency to hide suicide vests under the bulky clothing. But there's one phrase that's crossed oceans and continents. Since he released it last summer, Psy's goofy song and dance has been viewed 900 million times on YouTube. Guinness World Records declared Gangnam Style the most liked video in YouTube history. It has nearly 6 million of them. That's not too bad for a song that has only 5 words that aren't in Korean.
Access Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.